Make a motion to call the meeting to order 6 p.m., which is a first in a long time for us. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Let's get this sucker rolling. Uh, Mike Walpone. David Duffy. Celine Mulvaney. Alicia Greco, Boyce Electric. Mark Sina. David Roll. Thank you all very much for joining us. Mariah, let us know that she is out tonight. She is not feeling well. I hope she feels better. Reading in the last minutes, Mark sent to Elroy this afternoon a listing. I did not see any issues with it unless I missed it. But look good. Thank you, Mark, very much for getting I apologize for the delay in getting it. It's no excuses on my part. We all have them. We all have crazy lives, Mark. Don't worry about it. We're all hoping to get it now and then. I'll do it. So. Um, do you have hard copies in front of you, Mark? Yes, I do. You said you were doing that. That's why I was like, so not, it's not very long. Everybody can take a quick minute to read it. Well, people are pondering that we did have the minutes from the previous meeting that we had tabled because there wasn't enough people. We well, yeah, have people that weren't there, so. We can prove those. So we need to prove that. That was the one that I did. We did the 20-minute meeting. In August. Just to kind of do the bills real quick because you guys were out. Yep. So we didn't. We did that, so. Um, the problem is I'm still going to need one of you two to approve it if that's the case because three, or actually no, I got three out of five, so I can do it that way. Um, on the motion for the previous meeting's minutes. The August. August meeting. Um, do I hear any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 So the, 20, the August meeting is approved. Now to the September 23rd meeting. Did anybody miss anything? The only thing I can't guarantee off the top of my head is that figure, right? It's only at 1137. I think it is, but I just want to make sure I didn't miss it. Yeah. Okay. Did we not talk about the calendar at all? No, we will be able to. Always said we need to get on it. Is what we were talking about. Yeah. Heat's working out. It yeah. sure is. That's got a motion sensor. I was like, holy cow! It was cold yeah, in here when we walked out. in. Now it's like <laughs> somebody <Yeah>. came in. <laughs> Might be on a sensor. Oh my god! Really, it's raining. It's not now. Not now, is right. Anybody have any questions regarding the minutes from the twenty-third? Do I hear? Do I hear? Uh, Make a motion to the minutes as presented. Yes. Can I hear a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That passed. Thank you, Mark. Uh, going forward, minutes. It was suggested to me um, that I include uh, action points to identify. You know, when we have things that we need to get done, like I was supposed to get a picture out of a chair. It never happened because um, it, it gets lost. And it was recommended to me that prior to the conclusion of the meeting, we outline things that need to get done prior to the next minute. We okay. can have that part of the minute. Does yep. anybody have any objections to that? No, I'll, even, I'll even add it to the last item on the, uh, the agenda from now on. That's how we can handle our meetings at my job. We have the end of the meeting, we need to do what. So we have to get lost. No, I just need a reminder. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's I need a reminder. On a, uh, on a similar note, um, Ellen through Tracy said that um, if we have any questions, if we want to do anything and talk to people, uh, if we have like an agenda to talk to DPW or to the police or to this or to that, we should have one person, um, Mark, I don't know if you're available to do it, but talk to, sit down with Tracy and go over with everything so that she can disperse that information. Um, you can't go directly to them? She was... Uh, she wants to be the point person on these. Yeah, I got... They report to her, so she would be the one to do Yeah, it. I got... Yeah, that's sort of... I, I mentioned something, and she, she said from this point on. Yeah. It would be so, best. Okay. I, I mean, if it's something I like... I know you have James's number. If it's something like pressing... Yeah. You need Time him, sensitive. Yeah. yeah. But just copy her so she knows. Corresponds to bills, claims? Yep, we have four bills. Um, 
the handicap for October. Um, this is a new one, six months fire alarm monitoring from Burkett Electric Company. That was part of the spending plan we were wondering what was gonna come in. Uh, John Filippo was closing of the sprinkler systems and then by the water. What about the water come in? 4188. Okay. So it's cheaper than the bill. So the total bill is 996.88. So the Byfield water was 4880 for how much? Not gallons, is it time frame? I think it's months since quarter. July yeah. through September. All right, the quarter. And Bur Burkett was how much for the alarm? 330 for six months. Filippo was 500. But he's under a contract for a certain amount. And Wilkinson was 125. Wilkinson was for the handicap porta potty. Do we still sign off these or not? No. Okay. No, going forward with that, I spoke to the town accountant. Um, right now, Celine signs it. We voted um, for Mike to be an alternate. Alternate. But there's paperwork, as I mentioned at the last meeting, for us to sign. So I make a motion that we reauthorize uh, Celine as the primary signer and Mike as the alternate to sign the department's bi weekly um, uh, bill schedules on behalf of the Recreation Committee for the fiscal year 2020. Okay. okay. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, so I'm just going to sign here, and this will go on file. Okay. Don't worry about it. Maybe Davis. <laughs> you want to take it? No. Get right ahead. Okay. I should go back and look at, you know, on average, what the bills are since the field has opened. You just see what you're saying, what you're going to put your display on. Now that we're starting to accumulate some data. Yeah. With the porta potty, um, when do we want to get picked up? Well, it's November. Um, yes, but both soccer programs have signed out through November, partway through November. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to use that, if it's intended to, uh, for playoffs or not. So both groups are going to be using it through November, to uh, December 1st? No, to mid-November, uh, the 15th and the 25th. I don't know if it's... Soccer? Uh, soccer? Soccer. So yeah. professional soccer or Triton? Uh, the club team and the recreational team. Okay. Yeah, I was just wondering because they have their stuff out there and I didn't know about when that stuff should go with the snow and all that kind of stuff. Really? And if slowly break it down, you bring the R out back. Yeah, that's one of my questions too. And then with the, uh, so I will ask, I'll call them or email them to see what they're using. If that, you want me to uh, remove, call Wilkerson and have them remove the handicap. Okay, and then with the. I, well, by mid November? Mid November is what they have it signed out for. The, the soccer teams. Yeah. Um, and if they're not using it, we'll pick them up. If not, I'll have them scheduled to the last day that they're using it, whatever they end up using it. Um, and that goes along with Nello with the dumpster. Um, what I'd like to do with that is whenever you tell me to call them, I will call them. And then, Dave, do you have a chain that we can cover it up so that it only opens up like six inches or so? Same for the dogs. So people can use it, but it's not going to get the household transfers in years past. Yep. But we got to figure out how to deal with that hood that's wide open. Yep. Now we put plywood there so they can. Is it plastic? Yeah. yeah. It's not going to Somebody's not going to force it on there. It could, but it's, is it? If they have that determined to do it, they'll do it either way. Yeah. Yeah. And if someone does, we'll move it because you're not going to get it one way. Sorry. So when would you like that done? Uh, December first. Yes. Or no later than that. I don't think. Yeah, I was going to say same time as court time, but whatever works. What are we doing for the cleaning service too? Are we shutting them off soon? Or? Are we shutting down the field house for the winter? 
when you say shut down, I, I don't see a, a continued use for it to keep it heated at 68 degrees. Well, we, we could crank the heat up and we'll cap it as needed, right? So. Um, Would you have to shut the water off? No, they don't shut anything off. They Because if they do, it causes more trouble, so they keep it at 40 degrees. That's what the DPW said. They keep it around 40 degrees and everything works. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to like. So it's been drain the toilet. Yeah, no, the no, no, they uh, they keep it. So then they don't need to clean it except maybe once a month. I didn't mean to, no, they, they do, do that. that. <laughs> I mean, we could call them. Uh, we could see if we could call them as needed. Yeah. That would be okay. Would, would you still want them to do some winterization, like put some antifreeze in the toilets or something, just they, so that it doesn't? That would be DBW. They keep it, keep it at forty or whatever. What we're not going to use it. I mean, have them, have them check it. We could. I mean, Crown, we, I, I would say go back to the calm if we need a type of situation. What did we do last year? Do you remember? We say well, no, the water, water wasn't on at that point. No. My, only concern, my only concern is if the heat goes or something like that, the water in the toilets, you know, if, even overnight, if you lose the heat for electricity or some other reason, the water in the toilet could expand and crack the toilet. So if they I, just use that, rec, you know, that they use almost like they use in, in, in RV. RVs and things like that, just to put it in the toilets in case that happens. My I mean, water in the pipes might not overnight, but. <coughs> My understanding is DPW has a schedule for all the properties they're responsible for for winterization. Okay. All right. We this would be where we'd have that action point. Um, we could check with them to make sure that. So we are familiar with it. See what the plan is, and, and if the idea of that um, they don't have that as part of the plan, we can suggest it. Okay. Yep. Who would like to call? Break the DPW. I'll call. Yep. Okay. Now wait a second, you're gonna call DPW? Well, should I call DPW or talk with Tracy? Tracy. Yeah. Talk to Tracy. Okay. <laughs> okay. So but what she suggested is one person do it. So we have yeah. our liaison. So um, I mean yeah. I can call on this issue, yeah. but I mean yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll okay. say all this needs is a phone call. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You don't have to come down here. Okay, all right. Yeah, if you just get bring that to the next meeting, so we're because if somebody asked us what are you gonna do for it, we can say, Well the DPW is playing what you're gonna do. Yeah. And we look knowledgeable versus right. uh, the DPW has it. It's not my problem. But okay. I like that DPW has it. It's not our problem. Yeah. Uh, spending plan. I have got it right in front of me. Uh, I just added, thank you very much for the information on the alarm system. So I've added that to the equation. We still don't know about a wireless connection and the software system, which Mariah was going to talk to Susan about. Yeah, the calendar. I, we gotta get that called. We gotta get that called. Okay. I don't remember what's gonna happen. Here's, well, here's November. Okay, here's my, my question, because the different software is presented or, or you I we looked at, yeah. It, it's more than just a calendar, it's more registration. And my understanding with the program that the town uses, we can get all that data, but somebody's still gonna need to take that data and put it on the calendar to do the input that you were doing. And that seems to be the, the main purpose right now, is to take it out of our hands, because none of us have the time to do data entry into the calendar. Does well, that, why can't the girl who takes the checks down here do that? Okay. Well, my, my suggestion is that's a possibility. It could also be we, the Recreation Committee, hires a high school student to do, update the website, um, take some, take the, uh, was it twice a year, three times a year, take that information, collate it, put it on the website. But we have somebody do that, that's not us, that we just don't have the time. So, two things. Um, I think when we're implementing something, I wouldn't be comfortable having a high school student do it. So if we have a system already in place, then I would recommend mm -hmm. doing that. But the whole point of the thing was to have a live calendar online. Now, if it doesn't happen for the spring, but it was to have a working calendar online where people could go and say, field one is available from 10 to 12 on 11-22. Well, th this was, I, I hear your concerns, but it's basically taking what you've been doing. You get all the information. It'll come in on four or five sheets. That person would take what you did in the past. You're not doing anything, uh, assuming you, they take it and say, all right, here are the fields when they are currently being used. And if we get it and they create the calendar, if things come up, 
Now, I don't know how fast we can approve something if we're only meeting once a month. But if we approve something, we can then go to that person and say, okay, can you enter this into the calendar? There might be stuff that they could be, that we could uh, obtain from other departments as a bigger project to keep them engaged. And so people aren't looking at six calendars. They could do that data entry as well. They're not doing anything. But that wasn't, that was time consuming. That, okay. that took all of about, you know, half an hour. Okay. Plugging the things in the calendar. This whole changing to an hourly basis is, like I said, the whole point was to have a live calendar so people could see what was booked, what was available, what they could potentially slot in for. And that's more labor intensive. Okay. Are that we should still be done in real time, though. That should you should have a software program that's already doing it. But which and but we, we could do the first um, season with like a, a Google Calendar. Yep. It doesn't have to be a. Well, yeah, oh, a that's fine. On on our website, but that needs to be. Yeah, one of the uh, I think it was Uxbridge. I was talking to a person out there. The main purpose is to, because they're getting families registering, yeah, we the families, do we, we don't do any registrations, they do all kinds of programming for kids and adults, and that's what they, that's how they manage it all, plus they're able to take the, you know, the CDs paid and whatnot. If we're just using it for five, basically five fields, maybe we want to call it six, that's an, that is not as labor intensive, we don't need as much data collection. But as soon as somebody comes in, which if we are going to a, an hour, we may need to figure out, because we're, if we meet once a month, we may, may not be able to meet that new user's request in a timely manner. If I see that February 7th is open and I don't get to you till the 1st, we're not meeting till the 14th, we may need to streamline and appoint somebody that approves it because it's not being used. And then that person you go to, whether it's a person downstairs or we hire somebody, here, could you just put that in the calendar, it's approved. Well, can that be part of Lindsay's responsibility? She's the one that's collecting all the data. I would think so. Um, when you talk about hiring a kid, are you talking about like an intern, or do you talk about a paid position? I, I, we pay, pay a kid to, to do it. Well, they would have to be contract labor. They wouldn't be an employee. Mm -hmm. They couldn't make any. They couldn't make any more than six hundred dollars, so they would be ten ninety nine. Well, you could make as much as they want. We, the the HR department have to give them appropriate taxation taxation um, uh, form. Well, you know, the town's not going to hire somebody as an employee. They're not going right. to. They're just not going to do that. Okay. Um, so it's a contracted worker. It would have to be a contracted worker. Um, I don't. I think they would probably handle it in-house better if all it is is just giving it to Lindsay now. It's, she's already collecting the money. If it's just adding, the, you know, keyboarding it into a calendar, mm -hmm. then that's that. Now, if this position that you're talking about that would expand, that would be different. As long as it can get done by somebody. Well, that's why I'm like, like to give it to the town of Newberry because then we have no. a town. I'm not in a position to boss. ask other people to do work. We can ask, <laughs> right? So we have to ask, but she'll have a, somebody she reports to. She'll be held accountable. It's, it's okay. It's just better. And it's a high school kid, and it was sick, and oh, I didn't get it, and I just it's just ripe for mistakes okay. and errors. So moving forward, should we look at? Uh, would you be able to? Is there something we yeah, should do? I can ask. Well, and we should look into uploading a Google Calendar, and, and we could you know, put it on the website and how to um, break it out into the five fields. Mm -hmm. Even if it doesn't become an interactive one for the spring. At least because if it's just something that people can see and yep. then work around. And when, where did you leave off with the software? The guy that came in? Or I think that's where we're at. It's, it's way we're more still, than yeah. you need. Yeah. We're not registering people. 
you saw for you cross GPS, they register their people. We just rent the field space. So all we care about is a calendar that um, keeps track of the hours of fields one through five, and who's renting them, and who's reserving them, and who's paying So them. those things that you looked at were more for um, a rec to pilot. Yes, it's more like if we were gonna buy <coughs> some sort of sauce an airliner, and we're, we're at the point of a paper airplane right now. That's the way I saw it. Okay. <laughs> Aspirational. That's what Probably it was. More than a paper. We're like the yeah. wooden glider. Right? Or with the little wooden ones that yeah. you can kind of fly. Yeah. All right. But but I, I, think it, I, I think it's more where do, where do we want to end up? I mean, that's right. you know, oh. because I think when you when you look into software like that, you look at it at your paper airplane level. But are you looking to become an airliner someday? Oh, where that system yeah. can all of a sudden be taken care of itself. I mean, that's where the that's where the, the, the fortitude of the investment comes from. Is that it's long term. When you go, when you invest in a software like that, do we ever want to get to the place where they can register online? I don't know that they can do that here because we're Newbury, and most of those sports are youth tri-town youth. They're not so we're not that. taking yeah. the responsibility of a tri-town. Right, but if they could go online and do it on their own, what they, they, is, they won't because the, the scheduling for the different leagues that they are a part of have their own contracts with the different uh, software. So I forgot who does Sports Illustrated has one of the softwares, and um, who is it? Uh, softball, baseball. Right. They have a contract through their parent organization, uh, League Athletics, I think it's called. So they can do all the scheduling and manipulations of, of uh, the data. Right, but until it gets to the point where they're going to put it on our calendar or activate it into our they software. Don't, they, won't, they won't interact because they're, um, League Athletics does lacrosse and baseball, softball, I believe. Somebody else does soccer uh, at the Triton level. Somebody else does the soccer at the club level. And I'm not sure who does Pop Warner, not Pop Warner, um, flag football. But they're all different uh, systems that they use. Now, the, if you had somebody in baseball and let's call it lacrosse with league, league athletics, they can go onto their calendar and they can merge them. But they can't bring in soccer because co soccer's not part of, they, they're, they're not part of the league athletics software. It is, the one thing you have to be careful too is we want to get something, but we don't want it to be obsolete by the time we're ready to run. Because we're, we're barely walking right now to try to get this going. And once we do that, we don't want to be something that's very obsolete. Well, so. I think that's one of the reasons why when we listened to the gentleman that came, um, they said that there were on, there's always going to be ongoing upgrades on software mm -hmm. if you buy it and it's part of the package. So the software, if you buy a good software, should never become obsolete. It should just be rolling into updates all the time so that it, it rolls with, with what, your, what your plans are. I think, I think that the thing I'm concerned with is I know that all of those systems don't interact with each other and they wouldn't interact with us. But when it comes time for those leagues or those teams to want to register and be part of our system, that's when they would have to come to our system to, to, to record it and, and, to be, and to put their data into our system. I realize that it's a convenient right now for them to all do their own little thing, but sooner or later, don't we want the, them to come to this system and put their information into our system? Well, how do they do it with other, other well, communities where they fund it? There's two different things going on from what I, I think I'm hearing, hearing out here. It would be different if the Newberry Recreation Department ran its own soccer program, and then we could have teams. We don't. Try to use lacrosse as part of the vendor. East, Eastern uh, uh, Essex County uh, Soccer Association, which is part of a larger organization. Lacrosse. Uh, Triton Youth Lacrosse is part of Mass Bay uh, Girls Youth Lacrosse League, which is part of the U.S. Yeah, U.S. Lacrosse program. They all have their own software. They're registering their kids to the parent organization. Because right now we we only care about who use in the, the past who used the fields if they are local kids, i.e. Triton um, Triton, for lack of better terms, versus other kids. The other programs that I've looked into were more geared for the town running it and getting the kids in. All we're, at, my understanding is what we're interested in now is who's using 
Field three at three o'clock on Tuesday, July fourteenth. Uh, I, I agree. The, the, the key word there is now. Yeah, that's all we're I, interested in now. But what are we going to be interested in two years from now? So three I years agree from now. with you. Yeah. I'm just not sure that 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 can be done by this spring. No, I I, I, yeah. I, I, I agree. I, I would so. rather go with a good system and put it in. You know, even if we had to wait or, or do the Google Calendar, but with the intent of moving into the direction yes. that Agreed. we're so going yeah, in that direction. Like you talked about the recreation program during the summer. Yeah. Then we could use that that type of thing for people to sign up online. Absolutely. And, and yeah. Yes. yeah, once we get once we get programs going, that'd be be great. Right now we have no program. Maybe one merge uh, developing, but until you know, for five thousand or ten percent of our budget just to start it up, we don't even know if people are even looking at the calendar. And that's what I'd like to make sure that how do we get people to look at the calendar on a regular basis to see. If, if space is available. Right now they're conditioned, for lack of better terms, just to call up because there's no other means to do right, it. Right, but that's what I'm saying. So if they call up and you say, check the calendar, we get instead to of giving the information, they're gonna, they, you're gonna reprogram to check the calendar. Exactly. I, 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 guess, I guess my point is, if the town of Newberry is looking to move into the direction of having a recreation department within the next five years, there's foundations that have to be built. And one of them is to have an active software in place to start that. The software and the fundamentals of the department comes first. You don't create a department and then say, okay, you all sit around the table and figure out how are we gonna do this now? There's things in place, and I think maybe that's what our responsibility could be over the next couple of years, is to put that foundation in place so when it comes time to have a recreation department, that we can run our own leagues and do our own, you know, more of our own thing. Or even We're an after ready. school program, even, because there used to be one when, when I took when my kids mm -hmm. school, yeah. there was a rec program. Right, yeah. right, and I think, that's my point, and the reason I think that, you know, I don't know why we've gotten away from those things, but if technology is, the other towns have advanced with the technology and move forward so that technology makes a lot of that paperwork and the things that we're storing computers and stuff individually and we're doing at home on our own. If, if all of that can be done in the software, I think the time to, to move on it is to be on the ground floor of the software. That's all I'm saying. And then you build from there to come up with a, a legitimate department. I, I think we agree with you, yep. but from where I'm sitting, I don't know how close we are to becoming a, a small D department with programming. I think right now we are still fledgling with a few ideas here and there. You know, we'll get to the library thing. Is that our department? Are they registering here? Some of this is looking, and I think Alicia had said before, you know, It'd be nice to have something that has a town-wide um, piece of software. So, like right now, the, the fire department has their own website, and they they don't use the same contractor, correct? I'm not sure. And the police has some, and everybody has their own stuff. And, you know, I think part of the idea behind this originally was bring everybody together so we're all on the same page, figuratively and literally so that more cross-referencing can be done. If the fire department was doing something that could be a good calendar, that they, oh, there's an event by the fire department, there's the library's doing this, the rec committee's doing that, so somebody can look at it. I think that's outside the scope of this committee. Right, I don't, I don't think we have any control over if that's ever gonna happen or not gonna happen. I think the only things that we have control over here is to make the decisions that are we gonna move into the direction of a recreation department in this town to give the opportunity to have more teams uh, go through the town and be, be, be processed through the town and have our own rec department that we can, um, you know, utilize. But programming, right? Yes, yeah. yeah, I think, you know, if we're gonna, if, if we're gonna sit here and, and wait and say, well, let's wait until all of them get on the same program and then we'll jump in with them, that might never happen or it could be five years down the road. So do we take the initiative to make the st to start to make things happen in that direction or do we just sit and wait for the, something else to take place? Well, this thing that you looked at, does it, does it serve the purpose right now? Is it a calendar that you can? It didn't entirely. No. No, because no. we still have to input it into a calendar. Yep. So all the information we gather from it, which is basically, we don't need people's names, all we need is we, you're renting the following fields. The information that they're giving to that system, we're gonna have to take that and then put it anyways. Yeah, it, it wouldn't interface. It's, yeah, it's way too big for. What about the other one that we looked at like a, a year ago, the one that Hamilton Weather had? And there was another town that had it. There was another town locally. Um, that was, was still more registration. 
And they also had like the pool, the tennis courts, they had multiple sites that they're dealing if with. We had the basketball yeah, courts. We had we had something else that we could use. So we had baseball and softball and stuff all looked into it. So yeah. then we could say here are these fields available. But right now, the only field we have is Mantra. Yeah. And it's yeah, are you gonna move in the direction? I mean I we are. Oh, we are moving. Yeah. yeah. It, but it's it's a two phase approach. One, we have to do something now to get things going. So the Google Calendar kind of gets us going. We do need a software site set up is a question of when are we going to do it, and we want to make sure it's maximizing what we want to do, instead of going, getting the super duper program that doesn't do, we're only going to use 10% of it. Yeah, I think that we, we got, we were crushed by this field house getting that completed and getting that open and doing all the, you know, the, um, the prep work for that, and then we had the fields and trying to get that sorted. So I think maybe come springtime, we'll be able to see, but we, I mean, there were times we came out of this meeting and so we were all like, uh, our heads were spinning because of all this. And so now it seems like maybe you're right. Now we can start doing things that are fun again instead of. Well, that's what we're the spending plan is here. That's all of a sudden we're starting to look at this going, okay, we now have a good idea what our expenses are, especially now that we have the house. The well, you could, I guess you could start with a spending plan and, and see where you want to be and then back into a soft well, that's what we're doing right now. I mean, if the Google Calendar is going to serve your needs for now, that's fine for now. But I really would like you not to discount that software because no, we're not discounting. You just want to make sure it's the right thing. You also yeah. want to do the chooses wisely. Right. Yeah, and that was just one person that we and be yeah. forward looking. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, if we were to run a couple of programs and would see, oh, we need this information. Oh, we don't have that information. We can get a better sense of what services that we need from it. If we're running a program that has six kids once a year. Do we need to spend five thousand dollars a year right. to do that? Right. Okay, so right. let's talk about and your spending plan. All right, so so, what, so what's the plan with the Google Calendar? We're gonna have Alicia. I have a note yeah. to ask if Lindsay can handle scheduling with the Google Calendar. And can we can we put that on our website? Can we link, put link that on the website? What does that mean? Can we? Who's waiting? Wait. Lindsay. Can Lindsay put? Well, can her calendar that schedules the field be visible on the website so people can see? On the, on the, on the record. So you want a link? Yes. yes. We, well, we don't want just a link. We want a link. We actually like to see the actual thing. So let's click on it. It can open up so they can see it right there. They can I click, probably date click on it and see what fields are available at what times or something. Like it's similar to the calendar they have right now on the, on the, the town website. You have yeah. the general calendar for all the committees to meet. You want the same type of thing on the rec site so people can see what fields are available those days. Why can't we do that? I, I think we should. Can, can they pay those guys the big bucks to do it. So. IT. Information technology. Yeah. Two real smart kids in there. It is what we're at. If I'm hearing this correctly, using our existing, the town's existing program, so you take that calendar. Yeah, so we don't need the Google calendar. This, this program, yeah. their program already has. We can use it. the one that's already on there. And I don't use the one ones. that's existing, right? You can use the same format. Yeah. You can't use that one and interface with that. You're going to have to have the rec site. Take yeah, your calendar. Separate calendar. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But it's I'm looking at this right here. That's so the all you do is you hyper go over what tells you what's going on. The next month. And, and if you want to click on the date, you can click on it and, and tells you and tells you what you have. Remember, we have you know seven days a week from mm -hmm. what eight a.m. It's going to it's going to have to be a little bit more Six involved because six p.m. in five different fields. Yep. I mean, there has to be legitimate grid grid out there. Field, pick your time. Yeah, yeah. It may take somebody. And once it's taken, the other one you shouldn't be able to. It should be grayed out. You shouldn't be able to right. edit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there'll be. Uh, yeah, if she's got questions and she wants to sit down with us, if she's able to, we'll do it. On, we'll, we'll schedule a meeting on a Tuesday night and have her pop in. Then if she works at like on Tuesdays, I don't know if she's here at seven or not, but if she is, and we'll just schedule we, that. We can send our calendar liaison to meet with her. Not pointing fingers in there. Fingers extended though, wasn't it? Nah, it was just a little shake I have. What so are you on the town website right now? Yes. Yes. Do you does the recreation committee have a page? Yes, we're on the yeah. board committees. You go into DR, you go to rec and then recreation committee pops up. I have access. I'm the one that puts all the stuff on the meeting announcements on the And it site. comes up. 
names and. So is there a calendar on that? No. Do contact information, and right now the only thing I can do, oh, I have to log in. If I'm going to do it, but you have the ability to create events and stuff on there, but it just goes onto the main calendar, not into the recreation plan. Okay. So you gave me access a couple years ago, so that should be pretty easy to do. Yeah. Should Honestly, be actually, the there is a there is a recommend. So I apologize, Sorry. Dave, but there is a small one right here. Yeah. But it's not to what Celine's talking about. We need something that opens up. And then you can see a day, you can see the five fields, four or technically six fields. Um, what happens but, if you click on that day? All this is going to do is it's going to tie into it. So like, like here. It ties back to the town. It, tie, it ties back to the town when this is our meeting tonight. Yeah. Okay. So this is not, this is just every, every site, every committee has a calendar that's tied into the town one. But if she's got the time and, and questions. Out of it. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. leave Google out of it. We're going to see if there's a one on this. If they have an idea, so we could use it. Yeah. Or even just a link below to register for fields, click here, and then that opens up another calendar. Yeah. Yeah. But that registration is right around the corner. Yeah. So we're just going to reach out to We're going to go through the January. But they're not due until February 10th, I believe, something like that. So there's a little bit of breathing room. But going back to the spending plan, there were some things that were listed. We've asked people to send suggestions, ideas. I know the skating rink was there. Yep. Was something. $3,500 they have listed here. Um, I don't know if we want to go. If, if we're going to do that, we need to move very fast. Otherwise, the season two installment. Um, shrinks because yep. people don't really want to be dealing in cold weather and stuff. Cold, well, cold weather, frozen ground, and, and all that. The three things we had listed in the last meeting was the yoga, which was monthly, one week, one week. Um, yeah, once a week, sixty dollars a session, once a week. Yeah, they were paying for they were paying for one, we were paying for the other three. So it was $180 a week over six months is what we were looking at, which was $2160. That was, the, that was the initial time period from now until the end of June of next year. Or so they're paying for one? They're paying for one session, one of the weeks, and we're paying for the other three weeks. She was hoping to do two, but she couldn't guarantee it. I, I, I would rather that we absorb all the costs. Um, and it's once a week from the beginning of January to the end of the fiscal year, June 30th. Uh, once a week, 60, it's uh, what, 26 weeks, that's uh, 1600 less than $1,600. I'd rather, if we had it, so there's no confusion as to who's paying which week. And that, from a, from a fiscal, it's just coming out of our pocket. So you're gonna host it, where are you gonna host it at the well, it, be, it was a little long. The reason I have the twenty-one sixty is they stretched it in June, so we went a little bit more than six months. That's okay. why I have that there. So, because that goes to our fiscal. So if we did. If we paid, that was us paying three, not all four. So we have to find out how many weeks we have. And well, we my, what kind of my my? You don't want to just pay for three months and have the library pay for three months. I'd rather have the friend. I think it's a recreation activity. I think it's part of our purview. Part of our mission more than their mission. Um, is the library is paying it? now? No. The friends of the library is paying for it. What about the council and agent? I, th I, I don't know what, they, I think they are partners with it. I don't know if they pay anything. I don't know. That was never, was, I had a number of questions um, for Jean. It's 1800 bucks for every week. Do you have people coming? Yeah, right now, it's, uh, again, the, the, the head numbers we've asked for more data. Mm -hmm. um, but it's being attended now. It's being yes. attended. Uh, I think at one point they were saying eight to ten people uh, a session, but what, what's happening is they're only offering it once a month. And the idea is to move it in terms of health benefits more activity on a more regular basis is better than doing it once a month. 
um, and it might create more energy for people who can't make it that one. So you're going to move it to once a week? Yeah, once a week. And my suggestion is that we put a motion out there to encumber $2,000, not to exceed $2,000, for this project. They, they are working with uh, Cynthia Howe, who is a certified yoga instructor, to run it once a week. Um, the idea was to start using the field house, and this was a conversation we had before, whether it be something we open the field house, which... Not in the winter. Well, so more for dealing with snow than the heat, because we can always heat it up. Yeah. But the idea is, once the snow flies, like uh, November through April, it's at the library. The other times it's up at the field house. We pay for it that way. It's easier to say we're here, it's there, uh, and start and assign somebody to work with Jean to come, and Cynthia to work out a um, all the details like. Who's responsible for the advertising? Who's responsible for uh, if she misses a day? So you just want to sponsor the recommendation to the sponsor. We are partnering with the uh, library and the Council on Aging to provide a weekly reg educate or not a weekly recreational activity for those who can who can attend during the day. Well, but directly towards more senior. If we're totally financing it. Who are we partnering with? The library, because it's right now it's their program. Okay. Because their their funds are coming from the friends of the library, but if we do this, we take it over. We take over the cost of it, but they're still managing this piece. All we're doing, yeah. giving the money, making sure that they're going through and getting the kids through. But it, you're never going to own it. It's still going to be. Well, it, who knows what's going to happen? A lot of these things. Well, a lot that the Tai Chi. There wasn't a rec committee that was doing any type of programming. We proposed to them, we can do some programming. We can coordinate and collaborate some types of activities together mm -hmm. that you have been doing, but it's more of our purview. We have the resources to, to handle it. I don't want to be a, a, a yoga program that competes against them. It makes absolutely no sense. Right. But this is more of our mission. So my, my only concern is who's going to you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's part of working out the details. Right now, it would be them yeah. because they are they have employees to do it. They're available certain hours. They're already doing it. They, came, exactly. they came to us for funding the other time. Too. So they got enough people saying there's a need for it. People wanted it, and it was also for a health thing. So it would kind of like, hey, we're looking to do this. First one to come to us. Yeah. And we want to start great. Now that we've started after this long process of getting the house done and getting all everything done, we now are starting to develop our budgets, and now we have an idea of what we're looking at. We just want to start. Well, I programs. think it's a great idea to, to, to can't, you know, provide something for the older community. Yeah. It's not just the old people. You can have younger people there yeah. too. It's just, but it's something that gives them an offer. We're starting to offer services. We're pushing through the council on aging. I think that's great. Right. Well, and, and well, it's targeted because the yeah. council on aging would say this is a better fit. So we're not making the judgment call of what works for seniors. We're going to. Be more. And again, that's one reason to have them on the board is that they can have now input with the programming. Mm -hmm. uh, make motion. Uh, make motion. Well, make motion. motion. I, I just have one question. Is it worth us actually getting our eyes on the program before we partner up? Should someone go visit the program or one night when it's going, just go and see how it's going? It's, and how it's, it's not in the middle of the day. Oh, it's in the middle. It's in, in the day when many of the seniors yeah. have more time. Uh, I like the idea. We did talk to the, the person program. who's been running it, yeah. and I have, I have faith that that Jean would would not recommend and propose this to us if she didn't feel it was a valuable yeah. um, opportunity. Yeah. And it's not just somebody June. knocking on the door of us. Yeah. Yeah. They've been doing this since June, so this wasn't like something just start. They're open to start. When did, it, when did this happen now? Do you know? Tuesdays at 10.30, I believe. Uh, the third Tuesday of the month. And it's I was actually of, asked to try to find something on a Saturday or an evening yeah. so other people could go that are working during the day. Yeah. But that would be something we want to look down the line. Maybe we want to add a second shift to see if they'd be open to it on an evening to see if we could be able to do it. Right. Or well, they also do Tai Chi at the library. And again, if this goes well, this might be some of the stuff that we can partner with them. Mm -hmm and offer more 
types of activities um, for the community. the calendar, the schedule. Well, mm -hmm. they, well, that's just it. They have it on their calendar, and if we had, if, it, if we can, if we can, if we can get it on the town calendar under our own website, plus we have it on their website, their calendar, because they have their own calendar. Yeah. Now so we're the library has their own calendar. Why can't we? Why can't? That's what I said. What what calendar do they use? Let's find out what they use for their calendar software and and, and do with it. I mean, it, you know. That was the whole point of originally was trying to get everybody on the same page here. All right. So I make a motion that we encumber not an amount not to exceed twenty uh, two thousand dollars for the express purpose of providing yoga activities for the aging population in town, partnering with the town of Newbury Library and the Council of Aging, uh, offering programming at this point from the beginning of January to the end of our fiscal year, once a week. May I say anything? Once a week. Yeah. Do I hear a second? Well, one minute. We will assign um, a point person to work with Gene Ackerley at the library and uh, the yoga person to coordinate all the details of when it starts. Um, if there's uh, not just we need to buy additional mats. Is that something we want to include? Well, that would be part of this month. That'd be that'd be that'd be part of the two thousand dollars that they want yeah. to lot. They can use it. Yeah. And if they run out beforehand and they do something, that's not on us. They can yeah. use. Then they can decide yeah. if they want to use the, the friends of the library funds money that they're already getting now to apply to that. That's their prerogative. We're telling them this is money being used for that purpose. So, do I hear a second? Do I hear any discussion? Now we, now we can go back into the motion. Okay, I, my, my only concern with the motion was it, it was a part that you said, Mark, that said it would be providing yoga for the aging. Thank you. Um, I, I don't think we'd want to limit it to just for the aging. I think we want to provide yoga. And if a younger group, if they come up with a younger group that wants to do it in the evening or a, a group of high school kids that want to do it and come to the library as part of it, I think we should really open it up to everybody. I don't think we should be just providing this funds just to do that one group. I think we should provide it to be able to provide yoga as part of our rec program for the residents of New Bed. Yeah, so if it turns out one night out of a month is a Wednesday night at seven o'clock or if that's possible, then more than that it, it will open up to everybody. I, the reason I'm saying is because what you said earlier, Mike, that anybody can go. It's not just for the for the elderly or for the aging to go. Anybody can go. So what happens if all of a sudden wind gets out and four or five people that are that are, that are younger start to go to the same group, and all of a sudden the group looks and says, "Well, really, you know, we need to split this into a group for the senior citizens and a group for the you know for other adults." All of a sudden, you know, we're looking at this and say, "Well, we only provided money for for the aging." For the, for the senior citizen group. So let's open it up to everybody. And, and, and again, it will be under the jurisdiction and the uh, provision of the group that's doing it now, which is broad. All right, so now I have to get a motion on changing, actually, Mark, do you have a problem about moving that word? No, I have. Uh, I because if you can, I can just amend the original motion. To, to the, move, the, the move move motion, the amending the original motion to strike the phrase aging population to yoga for residents of New York. All right. I need a second on that. So it's so in your stomach. That's me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I had lunch. I apologize. That's right. Uh, I got to need a second on the, amended, on the amended motion. A second. All right. Any discussion on that? All those in favor on the amended motion, pulling up, re removing the phrase in regards to the, um, the age of the people. Say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. So now the motion is on the table right now is for allotting two, uh, some no greater than $2,000 to uh, help the library with their weekly yoga program. Um, period. Well, there's a time frame for that. Uh, yeah. Up until starting, starting as of December. Going through the end of end of June, uh, our fiscal year, June 30th. December 1? Yes. Some couple weeks. No, no. 
I said from January 1. Okay. January 1. I was going to December. I, thought, it, we were, I thought we could certainly get the check written. Well, this will give us it. time to yeah. uh, coordinate because there's a lot of details to be worked out. I think we'll, we'll discuss that. Yeah. Uh, All right, so January 1, January 1, I'm going to quote that. January 1 to the end of the fiscal year. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Write him a check. Who would like to, Who would like to be the point person to meet with them? I can meet with Gene and okay. uh, and Tracy to figure out how, how this. we get the check? From? I'm just going to advise you to be careful what you sign up for because um, they have uh, they've been running it now. They came to us. Right. Okay. But I mean, they're running it now, and I hate to see them, you know, ship to us and then have us drop a ball and have it not go. Not go well. That's, That's where it's going. It, I don't think it is a transition. It's yeah. you're more. Uh, I want to say a fiscal kind of thing. Here's the money. Well, we, we'll help oversight it, but just just it's it's as once we're a month, running it once a week. Yeah. yeah. All right. The other two things we had on the list was the skating, which was thirty five hundred dollars. That was being held down at the ball field. At the Pearson ball field, yes. Yeah. That would be that would be for construction of, of the of a skating rink to be available there during the, the winter months. Can't wait. No. Yes. By the library. Pearson Pearson Field. The baseball field for the end of the library. Okay. I didn't know that was in there. The yeah, question is, do we have does this have to go out to bid? It was so below a certain amount of growth. Yeah, okay. it's uh, thirty five hundred. We can just do di yeah. due diligence. Yeah. So we just gotta find a couple people that want to be willing to do it and have the time and the resources to do it. Well, at, at one point, um, a couple of years ago, uh, DPW said that they would be able to, um, as things slowed up, be able to install it, help flood it. Um, when but now to get it done, we can install our process. Yeah. Has anybody talked about insurance for this? Somebody get hurt while they're skating? It's town, town property. The MIA would, would have. A, a, typically, there's not a right. That's my list, too. Yes. Sorry, just me as I'm done. Oh, and if, there's, if a rider is needed for that, it does. It would, we could pay for it out of our budget. Yeah. But I know when they had a, a pool, a lake, it was. Like fifteen hundred dollars for the rider. Right. So we need to get an idea. We we're a lot. We had projected about thirty five hundred dollars to do this. Is so that we need fund. the insurance? I don't think so. We, don't, we didn't have that. Include fifteen hundred for the insurance. So, so now it's a five thousand dollars. Yeah. So where did the thirty five hundred dollars come from? Original estimate we did a couple years ago. Yes, man. You, you came in uh, after I came. I came in after that was done. Because there are there are complete kits that you can. Yeah, buy. that's what we're saying. Oh, that's okay. what you, you yeah. mentioned one yeah. that one up that a friend yeah. of yours sent. Right. Yeah, the, the yeah, we don't want to do you yeah. know the yeah. rocks mm -hmm. and yeah. two by fours. Yeah, and there's, right. a, there's a gentleman that does it right down the street from Triton. Yeah, the, the house that's uh, on the right hand side. Yes. Of the and he, yeah, and he does a really, really nice job. And I, the and lights. I, he got the lights. He's got the, the you know, he's got a really, really nice yeah. set. Yeah. 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 yeah, I don't know who they are, but I ride by the Is it Cecily's family? Yeah. So I mean, they, 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 you might be able to do a little. Talk. Yeah, there's a number of families in town that I spoke to about the pros and cons of where located. I wish you wanted up at the field house. And that'd be a nice way to have it, but because it gets so much sun, I know sunny days, it's going to be detrimental to the. Nice. The beauty of having it at the ball field is, first and foremost, it ties in the library, so people can warm up in there. They said, that, oh, we can have hot chocolate, we can sponsor something. Uh, and then Tuesday, we have, have a parking lot. They can, we can get, um, it's a control wall, because you've got the fence, the whole bit, and things like that. Well, that will help load up the people in uh, Northampton. They use their tennis courts because it's level. But also, they could set it up against those posts. Uh, when we talk to the uh, people who, another family does it, also involved in Triton Youth Hockey, they had indicated that they might be able to help with a run a state program. All right, so we have some rules. We have to get a quote and an idea number wise quick then. So, what, what, so are we talking lights? No, no, we can't have lights in. Well, actually, exactly where I was going with that one. Actually, we can't. 
Because from what I understand, the deed was never transferred for it. Um, there was an amendment. And it was never transferred for it. Well, I didn't know the neighbors. They're nice people. The new neighbors. They're very nice. Well, that's a fight. When, when a little league does it, then, then there can be lights on. Yeah. Yeah. But no, no lights, so it's, no. it's a more controlled atmosphere. Um, Flashlights. We would All have right. to come up with some rules about when we could ice skate versus uh, play hockey. Um, some people that try to use hockey would say we, again, uh, learn to skate. We could set up stick time versus skate time. We could, we could do a family thing. Let's get an idea. Let's make sure the number could be done and how soon it would be done. One, one of the things that we talk about no lighting, one of the things that you really have to look at with an outside rink with no lighting is the utilization, the time for utilization. Uh, kids will be getting out of school at 2.30, 3 o'clock. It gets dark now at 10 past 4, 4.15. So really we're looking at it to be used on weekends. Um, weekends and during the day for the homeschooled kids and the younger kids. I uh, There's not a lot of homeschooled kids in Newberry. There really okay. There's so about 14. That, from what I know, when I was involved with the special ed department, there was about 14. So uh, my thing is usage. I just think, you know, if, 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 if they can't do it when they get out of school and have Mostly, even the gentleman that's over by Triton has a set of temporary lights that he puts on his yes. so that we can get you know, usage of it. It's going to get dark up earlier. Um, kids will be getting out of school. They might get maybe, what, 25 minutes to an hour's worth of skate time on a Monday through Friday, except Christmas vacation and weekends. Well, the good thing about it is, the good thing about this is this is a one-time purchase. We can do maintenance and stuff. It won't, won't cost us the whole thing going forward. So if we do buy it once, uh, all that after that is, is the time to build it and take it down each time. So that should help us at least on the expenses. Yeah, uh, the liners are about $400. I think we're looking at a uh, 30 by 60 unit. Okay. Uh, the larger can always get bigger as, as the need progresses. But one of the ideas behind it was, again, partnering with the library, there are a lot of younger kids who take advantage of it. Instead of trying to go up to Grafter in their limited hours, there's space. Young family, young families with young kids, like preschool. Oh, preschool, yeah. 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 You know, family are you, are you worried about the point of concern for the value of the time? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's that, but it's also, it's also you know, and the other thing is, is what's to stop older kids from trying to go out there at night when it's dark and try to skate there as well and do things like that in the dark? I think those are the other things you have to think about. Is there a fence? It, it's all fenced the kids go play play little fence. Um, yeah. You know, they yeah. might be wanting to slide yeah. on the ice and yeah. fly across the ice on their bellies and things. Yeah, but you all see it's an attractive ice. nuisance, and anything we have is an attractive nuisance. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we say it's closed. Okay. You know, we, we'll I was dealing with a pond. Too, so. yeah. right. And Do we, we have people concerned about, well, why don't they go into the pond, the pond uh, after hours? Okay. It's an attractive nuisance. There's some insurance for it. At some point, and it depends on how old the kid is, if you're 50, 22 years old and you don't know enough to stop at a fence, your liability drops significantly. Do we still have any kind of uh, relationship with Governor Evers? Because I don't know if you remember back in the day, there was an hour or two that still the time Newbury got to use their rink. Does anyone know anything about that? It, last time I checked, it was at 11 o'clock on Sundays. It's still allowed, or do you know? At night or during the morning? During the morning. So maybe we should somehow also um, put that on our site, saying yeah, that- That's their, that, that's not ours to offer. But could we say, as a Newbury Recreation Committee, one thing is governors offers their rank it's at a this because opportunity. because we do not as a as a citizen provided by governor the reason we found out as as a family we heard through another person so it'd be nice to know i'd be reluctant to do that it's their prerogative to reach out they offer it they, but it, but no one knows they offer it so that's we what we're saying well, the AD or the school to say we'd like to put this out there for our residents of the town so they realize that this is an opportunity. This is not to raise money, we're not trying to do anything, we're just creating an awareness and that's all we're trying to do. If that's okay with them. That's not, as long as, yeah. they okay it, saying all we're doing is this, I don't see it being a problem. And again, it is 
all we're doing is alert the people of yep. an opportunity. We're not telling yep. them they have to. It's not. We're not directing them anywhere. It's their choice. All right. So, do I hear a motion right now to spend five thousand? Well, thirty-five hundred on the rain, pending the cost of the insurance and how quickly we can get this thing done. And actually, I'll make the motion. I'd like to make a motion to spend $3,500, up to $3,500, for a rink, outdoor rink, to be provided at Pier Pearson Football Field, contingent on the cost of insurance and the cost of the rink. Make sure that it fits within that budget. Do I hear a second? A second. Any discussion? I, I think we have um, sufficient resources in the account to set a number so that we, because if we come back in the next meeting, it's going to be too late. Well, I think it's, it's going to be December if we have it early December. We, we're going to meet. We got. We got to meet before the end of thank, and before Thanksgiving. We have to. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we got to do it. I, I wouldn't feel comfortable uh, voting on a fictitious number on the insurance. We don't know what the insurance could cost. We don't know if it would fall under the umbrella of the town. We don't, the insurance well, then why right. don't we do this then? I'll make a motion we will not spend more than $5,000 with a combined cost of $3,500 for the rink and up to $1,500 in insurance. If the monies exceed that, we have to revote. I second that motion. Because what that does is if Alicia comes back and says it's only going to cost seven fifty, Mark, you get a cost on the thing, and it says thirty four hundred, we can go. If Alicia comes back and says, and the number is equal five thousand, we can't proceed, and we have to start. We have to find what we got, but at least gives us the opportunity to do it. So the motion is to spend up to five thousand dollars with insurance and cost of the rink. David seconded. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It passes. Let us know how much. All right. Okay. Um, who's going to be the point person on that? Meaning. Is that me? Did you just say me? No, I said I don't want to do it. You're going to do it. Mm -hmm. or, and I'll just let the group know anyway. Yeah, and I, I can I can look into the, the, the rink okay. Okay. and see if I can get people to install it. All right. Just to give everybody an idea, when we discussed last month, adding in the six hundred and sixty dollars for the alarm system, which was three thirty for six months, is what you came up with. So that's why I just did six sixty. That's thirty six thousand dollars annually in operational expenses and everything, minus the wireless connection. And the software system that is not figured into the calculation. Everything else that we've been basing our numbers off of a year. So that gives us 36,000, 36,010. That would be what we would spend each year on a rotating basis. The ogre was two thousand dollars, and the skating is five, up to five. That leaves us right now. Sixteen, almost seven thousand dollars of the fifty thousand we started. With. Do we stop here? See how we're doing? Make sure we're good. I, I would like to. Um, I would like to have a, a one of those, not the small little sign we have, but one like the town has for um, putting the town meeting notice on the roads. I think we should have one of those fold out signs with lettering. They go for up to three, four hundred dollars, maybe even more, but they, it'd be nice to have that plop it out there saying, fields are closed, hey, we're doing something at the field house tonight, something that, that we can keep in the, in the shed, something that we can communicate to the rest of the town that we're doing stuff. Because um, the town has a bunch of them, and that's a, I think that that would be a wise because we do, we did buy one, but it's a little thing. And we use you it. want a big, one, of good size one. I want one like yeah, the library had right. or the town uses. Okay. I, so there's a motion on the table right now to purchase 
a sandwich board sign. Now, is this going to be pre-lettered, permanent lettered, or something we're going to be doing ourselves? We would do it ourselves. Okay, so that's not a role of responsibility we get thrown on us. Um, but we're only using them on select days, but. Yeah. Um, to spend up to 400? 500. Because we're going to have to letter, lettering for it. Unless we did it a different way. I mean, I have a couple of those boards just out of plywood that I would give. And you could make a couple of signs that are covered in plastic. I, 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 I just purchased one. They're about 350 bucks. Yeah, they, have, they, have, they have multiple sides. They have the flip sides, you put them in the panels, and you can just use um, um, like the plastic letters and stuff. You just slide whiteboard. You can use oh. whiteboard lettering and just wipe them off. And if it gets caught in the rain, you can clean it up and redo it again. But it, it, the best way to get them is just get them with the, they have whiteboard sides. You slide them in, slide them out, you flip them over. You, get, you actually got four sides you can work with. So you have lettering and you can use writing. Right. Yeah, you don't have lettering. You just have the writing. They're, they're smooth. They're not the ones where you plug the lettering in and you put all the letters in and do all that stuff. Those are, those are just too complicated. These are just two sides, and each each side has a flipboard that you can use on either side. So if you do four sides, and all you do is you use um, the, the eraser markers, just dry eraser. dry erase markers, and you can put you can write on whatever you want. You get a little artistic, put some stars, put some stuff on it, and it, and it just wipes off when you're done. You put it away. It's a lot easier to use. You can actually fill them with water or sand so they don't blow over, so that they stay stable. They have plugs you can pull out and fill them up. Um, so, so the motion on the floor is to purchase a sandwich type board to make announcements for field closure, special events, whatever, to be kept at the Central Street Field and the Field House um, and used there. Motion, Mark was saying 500. I, not, not to exceed 500. That way we have to come back. Yep. Do I hear a second? Second. Any discussion? Um, would you include a chain so we can just tie it down to the pole out yeah. front? Add a chain. Yeah. Will that be include the budget? I'm pretty yeah. sure it works. Yep. And that way, David, would you be able to? I would. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You respect Dave, David's decision, whatever he decides. I don't need to see it before he purchases it. He just has authorization to make the acquisition and make it happen. Any, any comments, discussion on that? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Passes. So I'm going to add this to the equation. That's That's why we're going to chain it. Yeah. And then when I have my ping pong tournaments, because that's the next thing I'm going to ask for the ping pong team. For where? One? For the, uh, the field? The field house. You can take the one out of my face. <laughs> Perfect. We're going to have tournaments there. Every Wednesday night. I just, you know, I'll be honest, my company just started it. And they have tipping pong tables and all that. And people are all gung ho on it now. We have leaderboards and everybody's getting competitive. I was watching our CIO and CFO playing each other in a heated match this afternoon. I'm just like, they're taking the 20 minutes each day and you know, it's making a big difference on morale. So. We're gonna have a rec hall soon. We have kids hanging out there. There was, there was one more thing listed from last month's meeting about swimming for the YMCA of $5,000. Yeah, we're not gonna have money for it, so. Um, yeah. Off the list. So. Uh, can, can we go for back for a second? I like that idea. Yeah. And I don't know how much the tables cost, you said you're giving her yeah. Well, there's one. We have two, and you can say. Are you, are you real about that or not? Because if not, well. It's a pretty rough shape. You could probably put two. I, I I I think it would be great to have something in that empty. Hole. If you want, if you want to they're not, look at it for like the next meeting, we can do guys. that. They're not. They're it's not. cheap. But. They're not expensive. So, right now. Thirty-six thousand ten dollars in, in operational costs. Programming seventy-five hundred dollars leaves us a budget of sixty-four ninety. 
that's everything, that's all expenses paid to the, to the end of the fiscal year, and expense and, and the programs for the yoga, the skating, and the sandwich board. Well, that's good because you don't know what the new... Mm -hmm. so yes. Wave until June. Which is fine. And then if you want to buy a couple benches or if you come here, we'll come back. I have one thing I forgot to If, if we're getting near the end, we should come up, sorry. No. Yes. List. And if we're getting near the end of the year and we have okay. money to burn. Okay, that's fine. We never burn money. We are making a further. We're fiscally responsible. Yeah, I just think communication. This time the big problem, as you've heard a thousand times over, is communication. So now there's sign boards on. Say we have a town meeting. If we had the same sort of thing. Okay. Um, so I will update this and I will send it to everybody so you'll have the latest numbers on what's going on. The key emotion sensor, Mariah was looking at, so we're going to have to table that. Um, the court at Central Street, basketball court at Central Street. Um, options to raise additional funds on our own or work through the town. I looked into that. Yes, you did. That's why I was hoping you tell me. Um, while you're doing that, can I ask one thing? Um, one of the, the boys, uh, Tyler, went finished his project down at the uh, field over the weekend. I, I'm hoping to get a little bit more information on it. They did a very nice job, but I don't think it's big enough because you can't get there because there's puddles on one side that are almost as long as what he built. Did a nice job. It looks really, really good. But it's just I'm wondering if it needs to be wider and longer, substantially longer. And I don't know if it was a environmental thing that they couldn't go much farther or what the situation it could have was. Been, I think because he had to go through process. Okay. Yeah. The... But I'm saying I don't know if they restrict it to a certain length. That's fine. But I mean, it came out really well. We went down, and looked at it the other day. How wide is it? It looks like it's anywhere from about four to five feet wide. And it looks like it's about 25 to 30 feet long. I can get some the specifics if you need it. I'll look at it. Yeah, I also have been asked by a couple of scouts that are looking at their ego projects. One would like to do picnic tables. Would like to know how many. Um, how many would they like to do? We're thinking five or six. That'd be very generous. Yeah, that'd be lovely. We have some handy people. So. Is there anything else that I can send on to the committee to tell them that if people are looking for projects, we'd be more than willing to? Benches? I think benches are a higher priority. I don't want to look at benches. Are, benches are easy, though. You know, how many are you talking? Because well, I would do benches all along the. Um... How are they going to mow, though? They're going to have to move, they're gonna have to be movable. That's no, not down. along the field, more so along where the parking is. Okay. In front of the chairs. Do you want them? I mean, are you talking about putting them on the ground? Them. Or are you talking about with solid bases? Or just something with wooden that they can sit on and like a tree trunk area up on the ends and just a piece going across, they can sit there? Or, I mean, certain level up. I'm just trying to get an idea. Can we come back to you with that? Yes, you certainly can. Um, also, it might be a whole issue, but um, the connection of the end of the field house row where the lights used to be to the little arrow if you walk your dogs, which... Uh, the, the little, the, when you say has the trail sign to say up there, we were asking, my wife was asking about that as well, want to know if, I said, would they like that? I go, I'll ask them, because that's the next thing. I've actually got Mark's next thing on my list too that he's going to actually appreciate. Um, yeah. So that would be a project I'll present to them. The other thing was someone had an idea of creating a stage, a movable stage where they could do theater or with a screen area, like a frame that they could put a screen into if they want to do something like that. Yeah, can we, yeah, all great all ideas. Great ideas. You guys think about it. I am abstaining from this because one of the boys is my son. And I will, he has an idea, he's got two. And he really wants to get started, but I was saying if he's interested, I will let you guys, I'll have him present to you guys next month. He has to go for the boys to welcome him. Does he go there first or here first? No, no he's, he can come here first. And he can come here and we can uh, recommend. recommend and support it and great, say this great idea. I just want to make sure that some of these things are worthwhile. If anybody has any ideas, I will certainly present them and then they can come over and do it. Because I know there are two kids that are getting close to aging and they need to get their projects done in a short period of time. 
My son's got a little, little under a year. Sorry, uh, what about the recycling container? I don't know, if someone gets it, I think we, yeah. have, do we approve money for it? No. We have not, here's the thing, um, and you may want to talk to Tracy about it. I know in other towns, organizations, it's nice when somebody in the committee wants to do it, but they, when you leave, who takes it over? Because you were going to do that, right? Yeah, bring it down the dump. Um, the, the, and that, it's very generous, but if for some reason you are no, no longer able to do it, who becomes responsible for it? Yeah. And so if, if they're going to ultimately be responsible for it, do we want them to do it? If they'll do it, I'd love that to happen. I would give an idea how big and how much this, this bin is going to cost. Because I, I continue to go out in the field. Even today, uh, the other day, I went out and walked through and picked up a bunch of bottles, and I feel guilty for throwing the bottles into the trash because right. they're just water bottles. So, uh, well, you know, it's having a lot of recycling now. It's still ending up there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, but uh, I think number one, uh, plastic sticks around. Forever. Yeah. So, do we want to get an idea what the bin would cost? Well, Let's find out if the DPW will take that off the task. You can get a big Rubbermaid bin for 120 So if you had like two or three of them. We could also ask Mella. They were supposed to be giving them out to Newberry residents. Yeah. Really? Yeah, they were supposed to. At one point, they were able to give them a paper. Yeah, they haven't done that, though. Yeah. They haven't done yet. They have the ones that they... This is Mella? Yeah. They have they run, they mark recycling in there. They're the ones that hook on the truck so they can just dump them and use them that way. Oh, they're for people that have the mellow pickup service because we don't. We have the Dave Bowl yeah, pickup service. Yeah, we have service. the Gary Grandma. Yeah. It's, 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 they, they do a good job, Dave Bowl. Um, so, you had asked me about... Basketball. Um, yes. No. Yes. Sponsorships. Sponsorships for the basketball. Yes. Right. So, I asked if... Can the rec committee sell sponsorships to the basketball? Okay. So what I got from town council was that sponsorships have to go through a bid process. They're subject to the procurement, all that stuff. You would need to advertise it, uh, that the town is taking applications. It would need to go into a gift account. And if you decide to move it forward, Lisa would put it together for us on how to do it right. I'd like to start it, and I'll be more than happy to work with her on it if I have to. Okay. And you say the gift, gift account doesn't yeah. go into our, would we have access to that gift account? Well, it would be earmarked for. Okay, so. Right. It wouldn't be, if you're taking sponsorships, you, you just can't go to your friend and say, hey. Put a sign on. Yeah. yeah. So it's got, that's why it's got to go through procurement, the procurement law for that, for that reason. So you, you put up the bid, and they're bidding on something. And what they're bidding on is the ability to put a sign up at Manta Field. And so that money has got to go towards Manta Field. You can't go to okay. you know, the police pump. It'll, it'll go. And it's it'll be earmarked for, and if you decide to sell sponsorship, you want to do it to um, help fund the basketball court. Town meeting spends the money. So yeah. everything has to go before town meeting before we spend the money. Even on gifts? Does we, uh, does and scholarships and sponsorships? It, because the town is taking it. Right. And they reallocate it to town. So let me ask you this question. Is it possible if someone, if ABC company on the street said, I want to give $50,000 earmarked to the basketball court, and we accept it, and then the town goes, no, we want to use it for something else. They can't do that. So the it's only not. way, if anybody, so when we go through this, it's sort of like, here, we're doing this, we're getting the money. It's more of a, and I hate to say it this way, it's, not, it's, it's more like a formality that they're going to approve it. Because if we get this money. Well, no, what would happen is you get the money, let's say $50,000 is donated. Yeah. It would go through procurement, yep. public bidding process. Somebody sells it, right? It goes into this gift account earmarked for the rec department for the basketball court. Then when your time comes, it'll stay there until in that account, until okay. you're ready to spend it. When you're ready to spend it, it will go before town meeting. It will be on a warrant. The board of selectmen has to vote to put it on the warrant. 
you go to town meeting and it'll be a Warren article, there'll be an article on there, it'll say, you know, to vote, this is, a, you know, will be to vote to appropriate X amount of dollars that has been raised through sponsorships earmarked for this sole purpose. And then we go and talk to them and tell everybody that we've raised this money, we did, it's not incumbent upon anybody to have to pay for anything, it's all been raised. The town could then still come back and say, no, we don't want to do it. Town meeting, yeah, but I, I highly doubt that. I'm just saying, there is a possibility. <clears throat> there's, there's, there's two issues. One is a donation is different than selling signage. Yeah, that's yeah, a good question. Yeah, so Mark has been approached by someone that was willing to make a very generous donation. Like that's different. Right. They can do that and then it goes towards the money and stuff there. They don't want to sign, they don't want anything there. That's a donation. Right. All right. So we don't have to have a friends of the uh, basketball court set up. No, the town can do it. Lisa will. will okay. The other thing. For sponsorship. Well, that's for sponsorships to the bid. We have yeah. to go into a gift. That'd be if you want to have so a she, certain yeah. sign, you want to have something on the field. Yeah, but she's saying that we have to go into a gift account. So she would help, help you. With the gift account, what parameters, where, what can go in that account, what can't, how that account can be spent. Uh -huh, yeah. And, you know, um, I'm saying that town meeting spends the, the, the money, but if this was set up here, Mark, differently, specifically for, it. specifically for it, it may not need to go through. Okay. It may not. But I'm just making sure that we're not raising this money and are told, no, we can't do this. When we, we're trying, because, again, yeah. this is, we know it's a lot of money. But the fact between I feel your pain because that's what's going on with the police station, and that's why they don't have a police station. Right. Yeah, well, that's the reason why that we they said no yeah. is because they wanted to have the money available. If you say at the police station yeah. after yeah. they are blowing the money over there. What the, about the, the other aspect to that? I don't know the details off the top of my head, but when you talk signage versus like the plaque down here, I think it's on your side mm -hmm. that acknowledges uh, the donation of this table. Is very different than signage, and right. at certain sizes, it has to go before the planning board or the zoning board. Somebody has to approve signage on probably the planning board. So, if somebody wanted to put up a we have a sign by law, a, th a three, a three by five, a three by six <laughs> vinyl <laughs> sign attached to the fence, it has to go before the board, and there's do they, do they do the same thing with the baseball field? Baseball, I baseball. But I know we have a sign. I'm, I'm just saying, if someone's going to make a donation, they'd like to have the saying, hey, I made this donation. Right. All I want to do is put a sign up on the field saying. Why do we have to go to Lisa to make sure it's right? Okay. And she's willing to do it. I'm willing to do it. If anybody yeah. would like to join me, they're more than welcome. If they don't, I have no problem in it. Yeah, there, when um, I looked into that uh, when we first started this committee, um, there was some opposition to any type of signage up on the field. From who? Members of the community who live in oh, that okay. area. So the other thing I had asked was in this idea. Right. Yeah, well, it's just the sign the unsilent minority. So the, I had also asked her about insurance. You had asked me about if the town, people just show up. No, you already answered that with I saying that my question was, can we kick somebody off who's using the field? Who are not breaking oh, yeah, any yeah, laws? Yeah, yeah. So how to, this is what I have here, how to police groups that are not permitted but show up? How do non-permitted users gain access to the field? And in our, in our document, Permitted users have first priority. I mean, if the fields are not being right. used, so if people just show up, they have access to it. Right, and the town is covered by the insurance. Yes, they just show up. It's yep. Right. Once once we accept payment for somebody to use a property, the liability responsibilities significantly change. Right. So, so to the your, town is not taking the town's not taking any any money. The user is at their own risk. At their own risk, and the levels of responsibility liability becomes different. That's why we asked all the paid users walk the field. Your example of if there was a fountainhead sticking up, if they trapped over the fountainhead on the damages, I won't get into that part. If they paid for the field, and we said, you, did you examine the field before you did it, which was their responsibility, and they didn't, liability changes. If they said, we saw it there and continue to play, it would be different. The idea being they have to take responsibility for use of the field. So, so uh, what was the other question? I go back to that. that I go back to this 
this scenario. Um, so, in theory, from what you're saying, then someone could come up and run a program on that field. Are they accepting if we're not for around? It? Are they well, accepting money for it? We don't know that. That's the question. That's the issue, and that would be if you think that the, there's a possibility that somebody is using for us using the field, scheduling their own thing and property off of it. Yep. I would find out who that person is and I would give that information to the town administrator and have her chase that. Chase if that. they are profiting from it and they're running a business off it, yeah. they should have a permit from the town from operate us. from, no, forget the rec committee. It, you, the example you gave a while ago with the hammer, if you're a traveling person selling hammers out of the parking lot, you need a transit permit from the state and from the town to be able to sell goods in the town. Is there some kind of disclaimer sign should, we should have on the field? Probably. I think that's probably a good It's just, it's just, it yeah, it's just that what, you know, Mark was saying that there was a, you know, Triton flag football league, that we, or not Triton, it was some, uh, the, the... Somebody. It was some some group that was yeah. doing flag football. And we don't know if, you know, if they're practice or not, I don't know what it is. We don't know what it is, and there's a bunch of kids playing on there. Um, you know, do we, do we have any, I don't want to be a policeman for that, because I'd no. rather, but yeah. there's a certain point where, you know, someone in theory could run a program out there. Right, and that's just one of those things that if we find out about it, we can, the town administrator okay. and she could stop it. Um, I don't recommend any of any of the committee members go and try to be in police if they have to. Well there have been a couple of cases where uh, an organized group was using a field that somebody else would had permitted for. And they didn't want to the group A didn't want to leave because they were there first. And the people who permitted said, look, we, we paying the town for this. We have a right to do this. Yeah. You guys can use that field over. That's we don't care. That's something the people that pay get first priority. Exactly. That they schedule the, those fields. The, the question became, how do they, the paying group, remove the other group? If I, for example. Then they got to call one of us. Well, what if they can't? Call the police. You have a game yeah. scheduled at 4 o'clock on uh Wednesday afternoon. Yeah, you could call the police. Yeah, call the police. And well, then we maybe we need to let them know. And again, I'll let, I'll let my grandma. He well, once we get the schedule, we'll talk to him about it in years past. So once we get the schedule, a hard copy of it, he could have a copy of it. And that's what we've done at many other many of the organizations. The police have it, so they are aware who's supposed to be using it as well. Yeah. All right. I apologize, but we're getting running low on time here. Yep. Um, we never heard back from TYSA regarding concessions camp for the fall, so um, I'll reach back out to see if they have any plans for the spring. If not, open it back up. Um, you all received your copies of the expenses, general ledger, and the general ledger report I sent up uh, last week, I think, when I got into the office on the last one. I sent a week ago, so everybody has that. Um, we need to schedule our next meeting. Thanksgiving is the 28th. We're certainly not meeting next week. Um, so the week of the 18th or the week of the, or the Monday, Tuesday, the 25th, the 26th. I think they have it right now. Um, the only nights that are open, it doesn't have anything right now. The 19th has conservations in here. Planning, uh, we're looking at the 20th. So, the week of the 18th, we can't be here the 19th. The rest of the week is okay. The 25th, that following Monday, we're okay, and the 26th, we're okay. I'd rather not do Thanksgiving week. I would rather not too, but I'm in. Monday's sure. pie making day. Huh? I mean, right. Mark has priorities, so I'm not going to fuss on those. Do you have problems either day with the store or kind of settling down? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Mondays, Mondays or Tuesdays yeah. always works for me. So, well, if that's the case, it's either going to be it's got to be it's got to be the 18th, which is two weeks from tonight, 
if we want to go over anything. If not, we're going to have to go into. Well, let's just schedule it. Let's we'll schedule it, and particularly Post if we can it. get one or two things done, like this, this skating room, because we, we're going. Or the calendar. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah. So let's kind of keep an idea. I mean, so right now I am going to book us. Um, the 18th. 18th, same time. 6.30? Six, 6 to 7.30? Yep. Perfect. Um, second here. And I'll try to have some answers for you by then. I'll, I will have answers for you by then. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? Make a motion to adjourn at 7.31. A second? Second. All's in favor. Right, any discussion? All's in favor? Aye. Aye.